A new construction project is underway at the Natchez Trace Parkway Bridge, and although it's not meant to fix the roadway directly, News 2's Nikki McGee explains how the project does aim to save lives through a suicide prevention measure. Well, just since the year 2000, the National Park Service says more than 40 people have chosen to end their life right here at the Double Arch Bridge. Now they're working to add a barrier with a chain link fence and barbed wire at the top to prevent any further loss of life. Monday, the Natchez Trace Parkway Bridge closed to pedestrians as the National Park Service embarks on a major construction undertaking. This is a, a public health hazard. The, the bridge was declared a public health hazard by the uh, Tennessee legislator back in 2019. While construction crews work to install a fence and barbed wire, the National Park Service says it will serve as a temporary barrier. In the meantime, they're working to come up with a more permanent solution to help install over the coming years. The Park Service says getting something up right away is a priority. The year 2000, we've had um, 42 completed suicides, and those statistics are up into the first quarter of this year. It's very sad. Suicide is a, a public health crisis, and the Natchez Trace Parkway again takes it very seriously, and so we are taking steps to try and prevent further loss of life. For anyone needing resources, you're encouraged to reach out to the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 1-800-273-TALK. There are folks uh, available to help support someone, and if they don't want to call that number, to reach out to a family member or a friend um, because they're important and they matter. The National Park Service wants to hear your input on thoughts for a more permanent design here at this bridge. You can find out more information on how to submit your comments coming up tonight at 6. Reporting from Franklin, Nikki McGee, News 2. Thank you, Nikki. Construction for the barrier is expected to be complete by the end of the summer. In the meantime, drivers are asked to plan for 10 to 15 minute delays while the bridge is just reduced to one lane.